Hey guys, so today this is Trash Pit Computers episode 2 and today I've got a decent haul today so start off with I've got a Lenovo keyboard it's a PS2 keyboard and just some little yeah focus camera it's just the USB scroll mouse some generic USB mouse that's least interesting now my dog is barking. Hey dog, you want to be on YouTube? Huh? No, he doesn't want to be on YouTube. Now, which one of these should I talk about first? Oh, which one? Okay. Let's talk about the monitor first. So, I've also got a... Uh, um, some Splendid Try Me sticker. So, we've got an Zeus monitor. I'd say about 22 inch. I'd say 22, 24 inch. It's got HDMI. DVI, VGA headphones, and IC power. And a big vent here. And here's this logo. Okay, so that looks decent. I'll be testing that later in my video. And also, we have a Toshiba. Another all in one. Core i3, this one. Not as good as my May. Not as good as my other all in one that I found. How about this here? So this is not as good as my other all-in-one. My other all-in-one was, um, it's an i5 and terabyte hard drive and stuff. It's, um, more up spec than this one. And this one probably won't work. It's missing the optical drive and this cover here is open with a RAM stick. It's got a HDMI input. So you can actually, so if the computer in this stops working, you can, sorry about that, my, um, camera battery went flat, so... I went and got my USB bank. I actually had it ready. So, where well, was I? I was talking about this input. So, if this inbuilt computer dies in this, you can use this. What is my dog doing? I don't know. So, you can use this HDMI input. So, you can actually have an external tower and just use this as a bare monitor, not as an actual. Like, so, you can use this as one of them. So, but I can't power it. So, this will probably be a parts machine. It might be an upcoming project where I buy a cheap motherboard and then take some parts from this and put it in or something. Got four USBs, Ethernet, power in, and on the side, if my camera won't get caught there, there we go. We got two USB free ports, a, head, a microphone, headphone, some blank cover, SD card reader with an SD card in it, and a whole bu bunch of buttons. And about the SD card inside the all-in-one, that was just a joke. <laughs> just to tease you. So, let's get started with testing these and playing with these. So, let's get started. Okay, so, got the monitor, plugged into power, running along into a big power cord that runs up here. Hello. Up to the power point. Boop. Oh, do we even have power down here? <gasps> oh my gosh. Do you see that? Wow, you just saw that. I... <gasps> wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. This thing actually works. Um, yeah, it just went to sleep. That's good, it's meant to do that. Let's push some buttons. And what? Let's see what'll happen. HDMI, VGA, DVI. What's this do? Well, I don't know what it's doing. Good night. Cool. Actually, I've got a pretty cool idea on how I'm actually going to test this. Because I actually have an Zeus tower. I think I should plug this Zeus monitor into my Zeus tower to get a real test. But. It's all looking good, so yeah. Let's um have a look at something else now. For those of you who didn't believe I would connect the Zeus monitor to an Zeus tower, boom, there you go, Zeus tower. So let's turn on our monitor, my new Zeus monitor, and we'll turn on the tower. Oh, I should probably set this to VGA because that's what I'm using. Let's just give it a minute. Come on, come on, leaving you, VGA. My Zeus tower gonna turn on? Come on. Why is my 
is this tower not turning on? But no, I was going to have to troubleshoot the dead as this. Okay, let's check the power supply. It's on. Connection. And then. Power was in up there. This is probably not a good idea. Um. So why is my Zeus Tower turning on? Aha! My Zeus Tower is on! Aha! We have a beep. Aha! We have a blue light on the monitor. Ta da! Um. Uh. F2? What's gonna happen? Come on. Come on. Um. This is not monitor issues. I'm pretty sure this is computer issues. But I'll deal with this. This is my Zeus computer. It always works. Or well, normally works. Yes! Here we go. Um. Auto adjust, okay. So I'm a Linux Mint supporter or a Linux Mint fan, so my Zeus runs Linux Mint. And I've connected up the Lenovo Kid. Listen to that hard drive. I really should get an SSD for this thing. Because apart from the hard drive noise, this thing is dead silent, so yeah. Um things are looking good for this um monitor. I'm gonna have to clean it up a bit, it's a bit yucky, but Come on, you can do it. Okay, I might be back when we're at the desktop. This is going to take forever. And the monitor is working. And so is my Zeus tower. My goodness, it took ages to put them so loud. I might have to do some little adjustments here because, if you can see here, it doesn't quite reach the bezel. But anyway, that's fine. Yeah, looks like this monitor's a goer. And I'm not testing the tower, okay? I'm just testing the monitor. So, yeah. And I guess also we're testing the Lenovo keyboard. So, let's test three items at once. I've got the mouse, the monitor. Okay, let's go in here. Office. Well, let's open LibreOffice. Because that's what this thing runs. Because it's a Linux machine. It's really cold out here. This thing's probably, like, running really cold. Here we go. We'll type, type some random letters on the keyboard. Common thing, everyone always types in their username. Oh, okay. Okay, so this monitor appears to be working. It appears to be pretty sharp, actually. What else should I type? And now we need some other stuff, but I'm having trouble finding it on this keyboard. Yay! <laughs> I'm having some, that's fun. Yeah. So yeah, monitor, working, keyboard, working, mouse, working, and tower, working. Even though we're not testing the tower. Right, let's get to the other all-in-one, because that's more exciting. Okay, so we've got the Shiba all-in-one. It's all got the bag taken off, so gonna open this up because I don't think this thing will actually work so big reveal we're in a disappointment no hard drive what the heck's that what's up there oh that's the that's him so no hard drive no optical drive Blop, wow but Looks like it's a laptop i3 and laptop graphics. Urgh, HP are a lot better than this. Now, yes, all those people who watch me at school normally I talk about HP being bad, but seems on all my videos I'm talking about HP being great because they do seem to be great in a lot of things. Like, this is a Toshiba. And, like, it's got a laptop processor and a laptop graphics, laptop RAM, and no hard drive. My HP, it has desktop. Everything's desktop. It's a lot easier to use, but this thing appears to be all laptop. And it 
doesn't have the hard drive cage or hard drive, so or an optical drive for that matter. So this thing looks a pretty big bust, but anyway. Yeah, at least I got that working as this monitor on keyboard and mouse and stuff. That's all pretty cool, but yeah, so it's all in one, not much here. Sorry about the bad camera work, but mm. it does have RAM. It's a 4 gig stick, there we go. Got glass, just wait for this to focus. There we go, that's pretty sharp. Oh, I'll probably absolutely black out the serial number, but yeah, it's Kingston. Kingston memory. DDR3 full gig. Come here. There he is. There's my dog. Seems he really wants. Seems he keeps barking, and you're all wondering what he looks like. He's in his little pen at the minute. Because we've got the gate open, and Dad's doing some work and stuff. So we thought it would be safest to keep him in there. So yeah, I think that's it. Comment, like, and subscribe. So, see you in the next video, and stay, like, stay tuned for Trash Picks Computers Episode 3.